afternoon. My name is Natalie. And I am Shalia. As always, before we introduce our guest for this week, um, Shalia and I will speak a little bit about Military Veteran Peer Network and the Veterans One Stop. So as you know, for MVPN, we provide peer support services, and that includes one-on-one -on -one peer support and peer support groups. Currently, we have HATE, which stands for Harassment, Assault, Violence, and now for anyone who's experienced sexual harassment or sexual trauma. We also have the other side, which is for dependents and family members. We have Pathfinders, which is for our veterans and service members. We have Yarnaholics, which is our crochet group. And then we have Written Memories, which is our journaling um, group as well, right? Okay. Um, additionally, we also assist with any resources you might need. So if you're looking to file for disability, employment, housing, rental, usually anything you can think of, we can assist you with that or refer you to the proper agency that can. Um, we also provide a lot of trainings, um, suicide prevention and awareness trainings, and those include SAVE training, which is in collaboration with the VA. We hold CALM, which is Counseling on Access to Legal Means, Ask About Suicide to Save a Life, and also um, Youth and Adult Mental Health First Aid. We also do our military cultural competency, which we ask all of um, anyone that wants to be a volunteer with us, we ask that they take that training, but it's open to the community. If um, you are working with veterans or whatever the case may be, you wanna be a little bit more culturally competent in the military community, um, you're more than welcome to join us for that training. Um, now I will turn it over to Shalia. Thank you for that. So the Veterans One Stop, they offer free counseling services for veterans, service members and their families. It doesn't matter your discharge status. It doesn't matter if you're pre-911, Pre-911, post-911, they're going to get you taken care of. We also take care of the Las Cruces in the Alamogordo area. Uh, we have an education department housed with us with the uh, Western Governors University and Grand Canyon University. So if you're trying to start your educational path, they'll get you squared away, even if you're not going to those two particular universities. We have Texas Veterans Commission Claims Department. So if you're trying to start your claim or you have questions about it, they can also get you taken care of. And then, of course, we're here with MVPN. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to our guest for today, um, Mr. Roberto Garza, who is the president of the UAVO. He'll be talking about that program and another organization. I just can't remember which one it was. We'll go ahead, uh, Roberto. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so today I just want to give you a little information on the uh, United American Veterans Organization, which is the UAVO. Um, you know, it's been around since about 1983. A lot of people know the organization primarily because we're the organization who set up the Veterans Day Parade downtown every year. Um, however, we're an organization that's more than that, right? It was designed to unite the organizations and, and really just share information. That's, that's all it is, is a platform to share information within the organizations. Um, the problem is the organization really went away from that for a very long time. Um, they primarily focused on the parade and other events and got away from it. So um, when I took over in January, my goal was to bring back the focus of the UAVO and unite the organization once again. So it's it's really been a, a, a great mission. It's, 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 it's getting bigger and it's getting better. And I think the information flow is starting to starting to really get out there. As, as I get information, I share it with organizations. Um, our meetings are, are the last Wednesday of the month, every month. And as we have organizations come together, um, it's just a way for us to make sure that the veterans at the lowest level, all the way individuals are getting the information of all the things going on in El Paso. There's, there's so many events that nobody knows about. And um, I think that's what's been my passion is being able to get that information and share it with as many veterans as possible um, to make sure that all these resources that you're talking about are getting out there and that, and that everybody knows you know, what's going on. So again, that's the mission. It's, it's, it's to share information and, and to come together and unite and just have as many veterans as we can um, getting the information that's gonna help them out whether it be for claims, um, educational purposes, mental health purposes, whatever the case may be, but we just want to be able to share and, and, uh, and uh, help in that process. So if someone wanted to be, if an organization wanted to be a part of the UV, uh, UAVO, they just reach out to you or is it like a membership requirement to be a part of the, yeah. um, the organization? So in the past, we have had a um, $50 membership, which is an annual membership. And basically that was just like a donation to, uh, which would help cover any expenses that we would need for the downtown parade. Um, this year, we're kind of like, I'm not really focusing on that. I'd rather let's get the organizations in and we can worry about donations later. You know, I want to, I want to focus on growing the organization and bringing organizations in. So yeah, of course, if they, if they want to become a member, which is not only, you know, um, 
veterans organizations, we want community partners as well. You know, we want organizations who, who share the same goals and who want to support veterans. So you can reach out to me, you can reach out to, uh, you know, any other members um, of, of the organization and, and, you know, come to a meeting um, and just show up and, and we're here with open arms. You know, we, we welcome anybody. All right, so just to clarify, could you actually answer the question that I was going to ask? So you stated that you do not have to be a veteran-specific organization to be a part of the UAVO. Correct. I mean, we've got organizations like Big Brothers and Big Sisters, um, El Paso Chamber of Commerce, different, I mean, El Paso Electric, uh, Marathon Petroleum. So all these are organizations that have veterans within their, you know, different organizations and want to support the veterans community as well. So yeah, not not just only veteran, veteran uh, organizations, by no means. All right, that's good to know. Um, I know you stated that you um, your goal right now is to um, pretty much, I guess, provide information and outreach or whatever by sharing resources. Mm -hmm. um, the resources you share, are they just specific to the organizations in the UAVO or do you just share anything that's going to benefit the veteran community? I, I share, if, if something is sent to me, um, that somebody asked me, hey, can you share this with the veteran community? That's what I share. Um, I, I, obviously, I want to focus on what's, what's beneficial to the veterans, right? You know, volunteer opportunities, um, job opportunities, um, you know, um, information about different clinics in the, in, in the uh, area, anything that's beneficial to them, um, which, again, doesn't necessarily have to be from the veteran community, but that, they, that will support them, yeah, I'm going to send it out. All right, that sounds good. Do you have anything, Nellie? Thank you. Yeah, I don't have anything. Um, you pretty much, I mean, that was very in-depth. I learned more about UABO than I knew, um, than I knew before. <laughs> so <laughs> it's always a benefit. Um, but no, I appreciate you coming on and uh, telling us about the program. Um, I've heard it, like I said, but I didn't really know what it stood for. I knew about the parade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, so thanks for the opportunity. I mean, you know, a lot of people don't, they have, they've never heard that much about the UABO. So just thanks for the opportunity and the platform to be able to do this. And the other organization is Military Order of the Purple Heart, which I can do that another day. Um, there's not a lot to say on it, but that's cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got your schedule already, so we'll see you again. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You have a, you stay safe, okay? You too. Bye-bye.